Hi, I'm Dawn from Creative Appliques. Today, I want to do a video to show you how to hoop a onesie. This is to be used with a single needle embroidery machine. So let's get started. First, we need to collect our supplies. So the first thing you're going to want is your stabilizer, cut to a bit larger than your hoop. This is a medium uh, cutaway stabilizer that I'm using. And the reason why I'm using a cutaway is because when you're sewing something like a knit, which a onesie or an infant bodysuit is, the um, item is jersey, so it will stretch and it will, it will expand. And if you use a tearaway on it, the design will distort and it will lose its integrity. So when you're sewing knits, usually the rule of thumb is to use a uh, cutaway stabilizer. So I have the medium cutaway stabilizer and I have my hoop. Okay, I need a ruler, a pencil or a pen, a water soluble uh, marker or a um, air erase marker. A, you need a temporary spray adhesive. This is specifically for embroidery. You're going to want to get one that is for embroidery, um, not just any uh, kind. This brand is, is Dritz, and it's for sewing and hand quilting and machi machine embroidery. You need your onesie. And you need some hair clips. So we have our stabilizer and we have our hoop. And right now, I'm going to hoop just the stabilizer. And I'm hooping just the stabilizer for several reasons. Right now, I'm creasing the stabilizer. Turn it over, running my hands along the stabilizer to crease it. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is to get the stabilizer set inside the hoop first. So my frame here comes with markings, plastic markings in the center points. I took a sharpie and I marked extended those markings so it's easier for me to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to draw the lines out on the stabilizer. You can also, if you want, use your water-soluble pencil marker or your dry erase marker to help you um, to do that as well and so that they will eventually disappear but for the video I'm going to do the pencil so you can really see it and I'm going to make it very dark so you can see as well so I just simply drew a straight line down the center of the stabilizer on the hoop and I'm going to do the same thing horizontally so now we have the stabilizer marked the center point of stabilizer here where the machine will orient itself when you first start the machine and put the hoop on with the design so this is the center spot of the hoop so now let's get the onesie prepped so I take the onesie and I fold it in half lengthwise so I'm going to match up the shoulders and I'm going to match up the underarms and the side seams. And I'm going to smooth it out. I'm going to kind of hand press it to get a bit of a, a crease here in the center of the onesie. Now I'm going to take my ruler again and you can see the lines on the table here. These are one inch marks. Every uh, line is a one inch square. 
So what I'm going to do is whenever I sew a design, I usually measure down an inch from the top of the item. So I will measure down an inch from the top of the item and then the design I'm going to sew is four inches. So where I would want to have this situated at the bottom of the collar is at the five inch mark. So it's the four inches from the from the height of the design and then the one inch lower down from the top. So since the design is four inches, I want to mark the center point of the design and that would be the two inch point. So what I will do is I will mark right here at the two inch point. So we marked the two inch point. That is where the center of the design is. Now if I'm going to mark the center On, I'm going to mark on the crease there at the collar point and then down here I'm going to mark as well and this way I know that this is the crease the center line of the onesie so I've got it marked here so we know that this is the center of the top this is the center towards the bottom and then this is the actual center of the design that we are going to sew Okay, now that we have both of our hoop and the onesie marked, I'm going to put the hoop inside the onesie. Now, when I'm hooping something, I like to use this. This is a rubber mat. Uh, it's a placemat, but they sell this stuff on the rolls now. It's actually um, sold as... A drawer liner so you can find that on a roll as well and now we're going to take the spray adhesive and with the spray adhesive we are going to spray on the on the stabilizer so I'd like to spray around and then inside the rest of it and the reason why I'm spraying is so that it allows the um, onesie to stick down onto the stabilizer so now we are going to take the hoop and the uh, onesie and put it inside of the onesie. And then I'm going to take the rest of this stabilizer and I'm just going to smooth it out. Get it out of the way. Okay, so now we have the, the center of the design marked. And with this um, bodysuit, because it is kind of thin, you can see through it to see where that uh, marking is from the stabilizer. But not all bodysuits are going to be this thin and see through. And this one has short sleeves, so it's more of a lighter weight summer uh, one. And you may have ones that are. Um, thicker and so you can, you might not be able to see your markings that you made on the item so one of the tricks that I use is I take a pin like this and I stick it through the point of the center of the the point we marked which is the center of the design and then I go on to uh, I find the center point of the markings on the stabilizer and I put the pin through that and then I push simply just press down so I match up the two centers together okay and then I take the marking from the center of the collar and I put it on the line and then I take the marking from the center down here and I put it on the line and then I smooth out the shirt And I don't need the pin now because I have it all on there like that. Okay. So now we have the shirt centered in the hoop. But wait, we haven't hooped the onesie yet. 
So how are we going to do that? Because the top hoop is on the inside. So we will do that now. I'm smoothing out the rest of the onesie here, the collar area. And I want to make sure that I have the, um, the onesie really nicely centered around the bottom hoop. Because what I need to do now is I need to take the top hoop out. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, um, I have this smoothed right there. Okay, so now I'm going to take the, uh, gently lift the top of the onesie off of the stabilizer. I'm going to pull out the top hoop here as I'm holding the stabilizer to the bottom hoop because now we've got the indents in the bottom stabilizer that's in the hoop and it will help make it easier to maintain the stabilizer in the hoop so when we pull out the top hoop and take it and put it down on top of the onesie it's just going to flow a lot better and be a lot easier so before I pull this up at all I'm going to loosen the screw here just a bit so it's going to be easier because now I have to hoop the stabilizer with the onesie. So just gently, I'm not moving the shirt at all, I'm just gently just lifting it up. I don't want to shift the shirt at all and it's, it's un, the onesie is underneath the hoop, the bottom hoop here, so there shouldn't be a lot of movement going on. Okay, so now I have lifted the shirt up. It's still in the orientation of the straight line here on the stabilizer. And I'm going to gently lift the top hoop out without moving the stabilizer. Okay, the stabilizer is still there. Sometimes the onesie wants to stick back to the stabilizer, but I still have the stabilizer held with the bottom hoop. Okay. Now I'm going to see where my stabilizer is. I'm going to stick this back down, the onesie back down. It's just going to go right back down on top of that stabilizer. Just like we had it before. The stabilizer's not moving. There's the bottom hoop right there. There's the stabilizer. Okay, it's all still pretty much in the same orientation. I still have the bottom hoop here. The stabilizer is still kind of um, creased right there, you can see. Now I'm simply going to take the top hoop and get it set inside. You may need to do a little bit adjusting if you have these parts of the top of the onesie in the corners and it snapped right in there and now I'm pressing the bottom hoop um, to the top hoop seating it in there okay so there we have it hoop now I'm going to tighten the screw a little bit more if I can that's pretty snug it's not going anywhere all right, so now we have it hooped, but we have to turn it inside out so that we don't sew on the back of the garment. So we're going to do that. So slowly, we're just going to start turning the item out. So my machine that I have is a Viking Designer 1, and it's an older machine, so it has these arms on them. Not all machines have these anymore, so that makes it hooping something even more challenging. Okay, so now we have the stabilizer with the bottom hoop, with the onesie hooped inside of the top hoop. Okay, so now we need to get the, the rest of the onesie out from here. 
So I like to put my hands in and take this, pull the sleeves out so they are out of the way. And especially if this is a long sleeve onesie, you want to make sure that those sleeves are out of the way very well. And now we're going to use our hair clips or hair clamps to hold the rest of the onesie out of the way. So this is going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of... Um, moving around of the onesie, but I like to roll it so I get a nice tight roll. And you're going to have to adjust these a bit here and there because as you do one side, oops, sliding, the other side may get pulled, if you can see that. And right now, this is just, I'm clamping it down just to get it all, you know, out of the way. So I like to take this flap here with the snaps on it and continue rolling it so it's nice and taut. But since it's hooped already, I'm not pulling anything from in here because it's nice and snugly hooped. Right now I'm just moving all of this out of the way from the machine. And now I take the bottom part and do that there as well. So, what do you think? We have a five by seven hoop here with a three to six month onesie hooped inside this hoop. This gives you a great area here to be able to sew a design. The, um, the back of the hoop with the uh, clamps looks like that. When I'm sewing, I leave it like this. I haven't had any issues with this being in the way, but I do want to caution you that you're not going to want to walk away from your machine and let this just run. You're going to want to sit there and watch it. Sometimes you can also slide the clamps down like that as well. But this is a great way to be able to have the shirt held out of the way so you don't have to put your fingers in there and join the uh, needle through the finger club. And now you have your onesie hooped. So I hope that helped. I hope that information was helpful and that it allows you to be able to uh, be able to sew designs on onesies, not have to just use the 4x4 four four hoop. If you have the larger hoop, the 5x7, this will also work with the 4x4 four four hoop e uh, as well, and it will be a little bit easier, actually. Um, I will put some links in the comments below so that you can find out where to find the clamps and the spray and other things like that. And make sure to please subscribe to my channel for more YouTube videos. Make sure you can find us on Instagram as Creative Appliques, Facebook as Creative Appliques, Twitter as um, at C Appliques, and Pinterest as Creative Appliques as well. And of course, you can buy all of our designs on the website www.creativeappliques.com. Thanks for joining me today.